Holly Snelling from Hobnob Market joining us today. Welcome, Holly. Hi, thank you. Well, you are having an event at the Wabash Valley Fairgrounds this weekend. Tell us about that. So it's Hobnob Harvest Market. It is our harvest celebration is what we like to call it. And especially this year, we just all frankly need something fun to get out and go do and enjoy ourselves after this crazy year. We are vintage, we're handmade, we are boutique clothing. So it's something fun to get out and do if you like any of those types of things. Plus we have food, we have Vino Mobile Bar from Indianapolis who will be serving wine and beer. We have some things for kids to do. So just it's something fun to get out and do on either Friday night or Saturday shop laugh eat repeat is our <laughs> motto so it's something to get out and enjoy yourselves for a change around here so it's going to take place Friday and Saturday at the fairgrounds uh -huh. what are the hours that people would like to come Friday night we have early bird shopping and that is 4 to 8 p.m. Eastern time and it's ten dollars a person at the gate and then Saturday it's 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and that's our market day and that is five dollars a person at the gate and if you come Friday Friday, though, you do get in free again on Saturday. So that's kind of our bonus if you come to early bird shopping on Friday. I got you. So if you see something that you like and you're not quite sure about, you can come back Saturday. I wouldn't recommend <laughs> thinking too hard and yeah, long. That's true. Right? <laughs> but yeah, you can come back again on Saturday. All right, yeah, so let's talk about some of the vendors that you have. You have some beautiful items with you today. Yes. Um, I'm actually wearing a t-shirt that is from Lemon Lorraine's there in Charleston, Illinois. I've got earrings on that are River Rowan. She's from over by Decatur. I brought some vintage -y items that would be very typical of what you would see at Hobnob. Um, our vendors are, I'm, I'm, so proud of our vendors because we handpick them. They are the best of the best. They build these little shop style displays that are so much fun to look at. It's like they make their own little shop in this 10 by 10 or 10 by 20 space just for the hours of the market. And then um, it disappears. It's just a pop up and then it goes away. But it's, they are, they are A game, magnificent display builders and they are so much fun to shop and anyone who comes out it's kind of like jaw to the ground mouth-watering shopping it's like Pinterest or Instagram come to life yeah I will say we were talking about your earrings earlier I have a pair very similar made of resin and I can wear them with so many different colors because of the different colors of resin that are in the earrings right and the handmade vendors who come to Hobnob will have jewelry they'll have bath and body they'll have hand-painted signs they'll have all kinds of fall and Halloween home home decor, um, just anything that would be seasonal or fun for this time of year. And then we've got fashion trucks, boutique clothing from all around Indiana and Illinois. And our vintage vendors, they like, you know, the barn finds and they've been at auctions and estate sales all summer long, picking up all kinds of cool things. So it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. So it sounds like if you go, you're going to be there for a while. So you're going to have some lunch options available. Yes, we'll have Polly's barbecue. We've got the fried pie guys from here in Terre Haute. We've got sugar box that I'm super excited about. I've never had one of the cake shakes that everybody is, you know, telling me is absolute heaven. So I can't wait to try one of those. So yeah, we've got lots of food options, um, both treat and savory. Um, we'll have lots of tables scattered around and we do have somebody who will be dedicated to sanitizing all of the eating areas, all of the bathrooms, all of the high touch areas. We'll have hand sanitizing stations scattered around the market and you really have done a lot to try to help keep visitors safe let's just talk briefly about that yes we we have um, had our market event plan approved by the Vigo County Health Department we had to do that as um, you know, specified by them. We turned our event plan into the health department. It was approved. They would like everyone to wear their masks to the market. Um, that is coming from them. So we would pass that along to all our shoppers and customers to please wear your masks. Um, it's an indoor outdoor market. So we'll be, if you're familiar with the Vigo County Fairgrounds, we'll be inside the exhibit hall, but we'll have all those big doors thrown up and open for air and light flow. We'll be under the covered pavilion will be out in the grassy area um, but they would like you to just social distance and wear your mask just so everybody stays as germ free as possible. All right, and you all are from Petersburg. We you are. guys have a Facebook page where people can go and learn even more information mm -hmm. that you have available. 
Yes, it's just Hobnob Market on Facebook. We have both our regular page and then we also have a Hobnob Harvest Market event page that you can ask, access through our Facebook page. We have an Instagram feed um, at Hobnob Market where we're sharing lots of vendor sneak peeks and we'll do a lot of little short um, like setup videos when we have our vendors start coming in. We'll take some little videos of what they're doing. So all of it is worth looking at and getting your, your little sneak peeks and we posted our shoppers guide today to our Facebook page that has um, a market map it's got parking information it's got admission information everything you need to know before you head to Hobnob Harvest Market well Holly so great to talk to you today thanks so much and best of luck okay thank you